What science is and how and why it works. Concerning what you know about uh, primates, especially baboons and chimps, and you now said that they are actually under the the world the uh, the word moral is now used towards chimps. Uh, any chance of uh, these apes maybe somehow under some circumstances evolving to to become more intelligent species, or maybe they already are more more intelligent than we think of them. Um, certainly all that primatology keeps doing is discovering amazing things that nobody thought their animals could do before. Um, certainly all that primatology keeps doing is forcing the definition of what it is to be human to have to change all over again. And each time the social anthropologists and the sociologists all have this crisis okay we're not the only species that makes tools okay we're not the only species that can have premeditated violence we're not the only species we can't define ourselves anymore by the only species having empathy okay we gotta go like rewrite all the definitions or some such thing um you know absolutely that's that's all that keeps happening um but what keeps happening is recognizing the ways in which we are on a continuum mm -hmm. between them and us in sort of more domains than we previously appreciated, recognizing the biological roots of it, recognizing amid the similarities, the unbelievable differences. Um, you know, a chimp can show the building blocks of incredible empathy and concern for another chimp. It depends on who the chimp is. If it's the wrong kind of chimp, mm -hmm. they're as awful to that chimp as we are to the worst of our enemies. But if it's the right kind, they can show wonderful empathy. Um, and wow, it's got something to do with the same hormones and the same brain regions in us. They're just like us, they're just like us. And we could watch a movie and feel empathy for the character on the screen and feel terribly sad for them. They're not real, they're pixels, they're computer generated. Or we can sit and read about, you know, the explosion of, you know, Mount Vesuvius and the people in Pompeii who were killed thousands of years ago and think about how terrified they were. No chimp can feel empathy for a fictional character for someone who went through something awful in the past for the fact that your great great grandchildren may go through horrors the fact that another species an individual can be pain you know mm -hmm. so the similarities the differences you know we're just like them we're totally different from them it's on a continuum in a fascinating way um incidentally amid my being willing to teach about and write about how the building blocks of morality are not just contained in humans. I'm reaching a point where I, I'm beginning to think that the word morality shouldn't be used anymore either. Morality makes as little sense as good and evil or justice or, mm -hmm. or blame or any of that. It's, it's another, you know, it's another biological phenomenon, but whatever it is you call it, we're not the only species that could do it, and people should know that. Um, but we do versions of it that are so fancy that no chimp and no baboon could dream of that sort of thing.